in Oslo, we throw away about 4,000 tons of coffee grounds a year. It's actually not trash. It's a resource. It's something you can use again. Well, it all started with the worms. Uh, I built myself a worm bin and I started feeding the worms uh, quite a bit of coffee grounds. Yeah, we have like 80 kilos, that, that will be enough. And I noticed that the worms, uh, they worked even harder. Um, I think the caffeine got them a bit uh, high. <laughs> We had our first production 29th of uh, September. You remember the date? Yeah, huh? yeah. 29th okay. of September, last year. Well, I always say that uh, without Kundra, there wouldn't be any mushroom farm. It's pretty same, yeah. Without city, there will be no mushroom farm in Oslo. <laughs> no, I usually say that he came falling down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just try it. And we see what works and what doesn't work. And so, yeah, that's how we figured it out. You have to be quite engaged to do this kind of stuff, so <laughs> it's not for anyone. There needs to be an inner drive or inter yeah. interest in it. I just like to grow things. <laughs> Open it and smell it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Excellent. See ya. See ya. The uh, oyster mushroom it doesn't taste like oysters. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Like umami. umami. Umami, yeah. It tastes great no matter what you do with it. Like pasta sauce? Pasta sauce is good. Well, I've done a, quite a few things in my life to be not so old. <laughs> Have a couple master degrees, lived in the US, and then when I moved back I worked uh, at the university with the climate research. But, yeah, I guess I didn't like all the meetings, all the lack of uh, action, I guess. And that's why I started Grütten. And by the way, I'm also Norwegian champion in tennis. You would know. <laughs> it's very good for us because it's a delicacy we can just find around the corner one kilometer from us. It's a taste and it's more about the way of the shape of the mushrooms and uh, the skin of the mushrooms. It's like a bit of uh, velvet when you touch the mushrooms. I've never always been uh, green. <laughs> I'm flying all over the world to play tennis and studies and everything. So I think a lot of what I do is actually <laughs> trying to show people that they don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing but I'm showing that it's possible to do something different.